everybody, welcome back. Today, in this episode, I would like to talk to you about this item. What's the story behind it? What's it got to do with World War II? We'll learn all this and more in this episode of... Here we have a map of Germany, of today, more or less. But in 1944, it didn't look like that, because in 1944, Germany was under Nazi control. World War II was going on, and Germany was invaded by the Allies. Britain, France, United States, and Russia, or the Soviets. And eventually, Germany was divided into four different zones. But one area remained with all four zones. Berlin. Berlin was, the, as, as, because it was divided into four zones, uh, obviously each one had their own control. Eventually all, the, all of them got together and Berlin was two entities, West and East. And now we're back. So now we have Germany in divided into two. West Germany, which is basically what the Allies had, and in 1949 it basically became an entity on its own. And we have the eastern side. Now West Germany always had dreams of unification and they wanted Berlin as the capital. Now we have a problem. The problem is that the capital was Berlin where the House of Parliament were and that was not in their territory. It was in the eastern section, far away from them. And you can't have members of Parliament, which is basically where the capital is, in a country that's not yours. They had to find their own country, their own capital, sorry, and they made Bonn their capital. Now, East Germany, or the Eastern Germany, decided to rename themselves as the Democratic Republic of Germany. And they wanted to declare Berlin as their capital as well. And in this case, Berlin happened to be in East Germany, or DDR. Not all, of, not all of Berlin was under their control, but it was still under their control. And so that is where our story starts today. In the 1960s, in, in 1961, for example, East Germany decided to try and promote Berlin as the capital. And how do you promote Berlin as the capital for people who don't believe it is? The media. The media is the best friend of those people who want to use propaganda. The media can be anything. It can be radio, television, it can even be mail. Now here we see a letter sent from East Germany to West Germany, or basically to West Berlin. Now the East Germans had a, had a special cancel, and you can see it here. If the translation to German is Germany is the capital of East Germany. When it arrived in West Berlin, they were insulted and upset because they wanted it for their capital. They wanted something they didn't have, but they wanted it. But they put, a, uh, uh, put another slogan on it. They said, Berlin is the capital of Germany, not the Soviet zone. That was a direct insult to East Germany, saying that it was the Soviet zone and not a real country. This type of thing is called a postal war or a postkrieg. Now, the, now there's a very good catalog about it, and he has, a, he has the catalog, and there are many, many incidents. The postkrieg is not something new. It's actually been around since about 1870 and still going on today. And perhaps in one of the coming videos, I'll show you something to do dealing with Israel. So thank you for listening, and so long for now. Bye.